What are the best trail e-mountain bikes for 2020? Riders, welcome back to Sam's Bikes where we talk only e-bikes. And I wanna thank you guys so much because one of the last videos I put up had 100,000 views and that was on the best e-mountain bikes for 2020. I kinda of thought I would ride that wave a little bit, you know, like get a few more views, a few more subs. But to be honest, it became quite obvious to me that I should do a trail e-mountain bike version as well as the enduro one. The other day I was talking to my mate Brett who's about to buy his first e-bike. And he's like, Sam, I've decided on the last two, the Trek Rail and the YT Decoy. And I was like, Brett, they are very, they're both very good bikes, but one's a trail bike and one's an enduro bike. Um, I just, why have you decided on these two bikes? Um, and he was like, well, it kind of comes down to price and look. I said, look, have you had a look at the geometry? on these bikes because they're quite different. And we went on to talk about the difference between trail e-mountain bikes and enduro e-mountain bikes. So I kind of thought that I would just explain my understanding of them and also go through my favorite trail bikes for 2020. So what is an e-trail bike? It normally comes with 29 wheels, suspension from like 130 to 160, a steeper head tube angle, maybe like 65, 66, um, a longer chainstay making that bike more stable, and if you're lucky, a water bottle holder. Look, I would say a trail bike's better for someone that is looking for doing like longer rides, that is someone that likes going out and riding a few hours, enjoys riding up, and enjoys riding down. It's more an all-rounder, but also, please note, if you are a shorter rider, I probably would be looking at a mullet setup, a 27 at the back and 29 at the front, or a straight 27. These e-bikes are very big bikes, they're quite heavy, and a smaller rider is gonna end up being a passenger on this bike. Okay, so now what is an enduro or a super enduro bike? Typically comes with mullet setup, a 29 at the front, 27 at the back, or 27 front and back. 160 to 180 suspension, and sometimes a shorter chainstay making it a more playful bike, and a steeper head tube angle, 64, 64 and a half, 65. But as we all know, the e-bike world is changing really fast, so that line between a trail and an enduro bike is getting sort of closer. Look, it's true that these bikes have motors, so they can climb pretty well, and they can go downhill pretty well, both bikes, a trail and an enduro bike, are gonna be very capable bikes. But I suppose if you're asking, should I go for an enduro or a trail? It's a pretty simple question. Do you enjoy majority of the time going downhill or do you like doing sort of more longer rides and you enjoy riding up and down and everything in between? Now we've got that out of the way, I'm gonna give you my top picks for 2020 e-trail bikes. Look, a little disclaimer, all these bikes have entry level and high spec models. Look, I kind of thought that I would try and get them in around five to 6,000 euros, just to give you sort of compare apples to apples, give you an idea of what you can get across the line. But if one of the bikes does interest you, head over to the website, all the links will be in the description, and you can check out the full lineup. Number one, Specialized Turbo Levo Comp. The Turbo Levo from Specialized, is a cult classic e-bike. And at a guess, it was probably the most sold bike this financial year. Coming with a super powerful Bros Mag motor with 90 Newton meters of torque, a whopping 700 watt battery, 66 degree head angle, 45 chain stay, and 74 degree seat angle, running on 29s and 150 suspension front and back it's easy to see why this powerhouse is selling like hotcakes. Number two, Trek Rail 7. Trek have just released the new rail and it is making massive waves in the e-mountain bike world. I haven't tested the rail yet, but my mate Brett has, check out the review here, and he loved it. 
The rail comes with a Gen 4 Bosch motor, seat angle 75 degrees, head tube angle 64.5, and a shortish chain stay for a 29er with 447. 160 up front and 150 at the rear. I think Trek have finally entered the e-mountain bike sector with a bang. The rail looks like the business. Orbea Wild FS M20. Okay, this is another big bike, and it could be pushing the limits to say that it's a trail bike. It's more on that edge of enduro. The Wild FS is a looker. I really like the look of this bike, and it's super capable with 160 front and back on 29 wheels with 2.6 tires. This thing means business. Sporting the Gen 4 Bosch motor, with a 625 integrated battery, 66 and a half degree head angle, 455 chain stays, and 76 seat angle. I love the way the Wild FS has the suspension right above the motor. I'm sure this bike could be super planted, and I had to get on the list. And number four, Norco Sight VLT A1. This is another big, big trail bike from the classic Canadian brand. 160 up front, 150 out back, running on 29 wheels. Shimano E8000 motor with an integrated 650 watt battery. Geometry number, 64 head angle, 458 chain stay, and a 68 seat angle. The site is a solid build and looks like it could party all day long in the mountain with the optional 360 watt range extender battery pack. I think the site is a great option for someone that is looking for that more aggressive side of the trail bike. And number five, Cube Stereo 140 Action Team. The Stereo 140 has to be the best value e-bike if you're buying in a traditional bike shop. The 140 Action Team for just over 6K, you're getting carbon mainframe, Bosch Gen 4 with 625 battery, Full Fox factory suspension, great wheels, Shimano four pot brakes. So let's look at the geometry, 65 and a half head angle, 457 chain stay and seat 74 degrees. For the smart buyer, this is the bike if you wanna buy in a traditional bike shop. Now for the online companies. Look, I know a lot of us are tempted to go online or, or stay with a traditional bike shop. It is a hard decision because Look, some of us are quite handy uh, fixing bikes and other of us aren't so handy. Look, I've actually come up with a video uh, helping you decide whether you should go online or buy a nutritional bike shop. Click on the link up here and you can check that out. But these are my three picks if you're gonna buy online. Number six, YT Decoy 29er. So as you probably all know, I have the Decoy mullet, the original Decoy. And I was a little confused when the 29er came out. Like I kind of looked at the numbers and it didn't really make a lot of sense. But you know, I am kind of more that enduro side. So after doing my research and checking out the numbers, the decoy does make a lot of sense on paper. 150 up front, 140 in the rear, running on 29 wheels. Shimano E8000 motor with a 540 watt battery. 65 and a half degree head angle, 458 chain stays and a 77 to 75 seat tube angle. The decoy is really a great spec bike and YT make quality bikes. For the price, it is a great option in the trail bike market. And number seven, Canyon Spectral on CF8. The Canyon Spectral is the only mullet in the list, but it is a trail bike, so let's look at it. The newest e-bike from Canyon and they've done another great job with a very well priced and specced e-mountain bike. Carbon mainframe, Shimano E8000 motor with a 504 watt battery, 29 wheel up front and 27 out back, 150 suspension, 66 and a half degree head tube angle, a 435 chain stay and a 74 and a half degree seat tube angle. I think the Spectral is a great option for a smaller rider, someone that's maybe shorter than 5'7", um, or also someone that is looking for sort of a trail-orientated bike with a bit of less suspension, but a bit more playful. That short back end with the 4.35 chainstay, I think would be a lot of fun. 
And lucky last, Raiden Render 10.0. The Raiden Render is another great spec e-bike for the money. The Render comes with carbon mainframe, 150 up front, 140 out back, running on 29 wheels. Bosch Generation 4 motor, 625 battery, a RockShox suspension and Magura brakes. 65 and a half degree head angle, 458 chainstay. This is another great option if you're looking at buying online. Okay, riders, that's it for me for my e-trail bike list for 2020. It is very exciting times in the e-mountain bike world and we're seeing lots of new bikes entering the market. So, which one would you buy? Which one are you looking at? Drop a comment below and you might be thinking, which one is Sam looking at? Look, for me, look, you know I'm more an enduro sort of guy. Uh, for me, I would definitely be looking at Spectral. Um, because of the short chain stay, I like the mullet setup. You know, you're not gonna be losing. The bike maybe will be a little bit less stable at really high speeds, but it's gonna be more playful coming in and out of those corners. So that would be my pick for the best trail bike in 2020. And riders, I hope you liked that video. If you haven't already and wanna check out my best value e-bikes for 2020 here, and also the best hardtails here, and riders, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, share it with your mates. It really means a lot. And stay safe out there. And I'll see you next time.